This is the oldest known mechanical clock mechanism. And what we have on the right hand side here, is we've got a counterweight or a weight hanging from the ceiling wrapped around this drum. And so that weight is pulling to unwind this drum with this big gear turning this little pinion. And on that shaft is the, uh, is the ratchet, the escapement mechanism. And we actually have a, like a double weighted pendulum on the top. We'll try to get that there. And as that swings back and forth, that's kind of the tick-tock action. And it seems like maybe four or five seconds for each stroke. And if we look in, you can see that there's little ratchet teeth that grab the, the, the teeth on the escapement gear so that you know, prevents it from just unwinding really fast. The momentum of those weights swinging is like a controlled way to slow down the movement of that gear. And if you look at the weights, you can actually slide them back and forth on the arms to adjust the timing. And when this clock didn't have any hands or a face, it was just for ringing a bell, there's a lever mechanism here on this bar that when, uh, you know, one, every one time around on this big gear, there was a pin that would catch that lever and release it. And when that lever was tripped, the left-hand side of the clock here, which is powered by another weight, would spin this, uh, this arm in the air. And presumably there would have been a bell or something that it would have struck, and that would have made the noise, the, the ringing noise. So it would have you know, rung once an hour but it's a, it's a really neat, well-crafted piece. So, you know, each, each tooth on each cog would have been handmade, and you can actually see the spokes of that inner gear, how there's a neat kind of little, uh, uh, you know, kind of fleur-de-lis uh, pattern where it connects to the gear. So when the clock would strike, the this arm here again would, would lift up you know when that when it was lifted by the pin and you can see the different size notches that this little finger would fall into and these notches change in size so this one is really short so that'd do a very short ring and then as it goes over this hump it would be do a slightly longer ring and then a slightly longer one and a slightly longer one and etc and so if you count you've got one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, okay. Yep, so there's that arm lifting up. And so you've got your twelve spaces increasing length, which uh, each longer length would be for the next hour. So one o'clock to twelve o'clock, and then it would reset.